This is DHS Game Time Roundup with Pep Fernandez. Powered by Paradise Chevrolet Cadillac. Standards for excellence. Get ready for a heavy dose of soccer in tonight's HS Game Time Roundup. I'm Pep Fernandez. We've got the Big 8 Girls Water Polo Final, plus a pair of inland football players earn a spot in the Rivals Top 100. But first, we kick off the action on the soccer pitch as Corona traveled to Pauly looking for a share of the Big 8 crown. Go ahead and scream it out. It's the Honda Cars of Corona. Game of the night. First half, Polly with a corner kick. Garrett Horde finds Rob Morales on the header. The Bears go on top 1-0. Later in the first half, the Panthers searching for the equalizer. Fab freshman Leo Bahena fires off a shot, but Tony Huerta is there to push the ball over the goal. Polly led one zip at the break. Second half, Panthers back on the attack. David Castro feeds Bahena, who fires off a shot, but there's Huerta manning the net and making another stop. Corona continue to pressure the Polly goal, and that had Bears head coach Alex Figueroa asking Jim Clover from Sport Clinic if he had any paddles on hand, you know, just in case of a heart attack. Yeah, it was that intense in the final minutes, but coach, here's some breathing room. Eddie Garcia drives and finds Yordi Garcia for the score. And that'll do it. Polly is your Big 8 champion, defeating Corona by a final score of 2-0. Yeah. Yeah. Over in the Citrus Belt League, Redlands East Valley hooking up with Fontana with the league title on the line. The visiting Steelers got a goal here from Carlos Cruz, and he converts the penalty kick. Bo High has just one loss this season, and that came against the Wildcats a couple weeks back. With Fontana, they would not lose again, and this one ends in a 2-2 draw. With the tie, Bo High captures its fifth straight league championship. The Steelers are now 18-1-1 on the season. Over the old Sun Belt League, Lakeside squaring off with Paloma Valley in girls soccer. Lakeside looking to lock up the league crown in this one. After a couple good opportunities, still scoreless win. Paloma Valley's Chloe Herrera unleashes the long throw and it looks like an own goal on Lakeside. And Paloma Valley takes a 1-0 lead. Then later in the match, same score when Lakeside star Mackenzie Aikens is tripped up in the box. That sets up this, the penalty shot. And no doubt about it, Aikens finds the back of the net to even the game at one. And that's how it ends, a 1-1 draw. And with the tie, Lakeside is your Sunbelt League champ. Now to the Sunkiss League, where Harupa Valley was playing for its playoff life. The Jaguars, in desperate need of a win against second place Patriot, to keep the door ajar at a shot at the postseason. The two sides play to a scoreless match until the Jaguars senior captain Gabby Juarez gets loose and nets the game winner in the 75th minute. Harupa Valley upsets Patriot 1-0 to stay in the hunt for a playoff spot. Moving on to Big 8 boys hoops. Polly defeated Corona while Santiago lost to Roosevelt. So what does it all mean? Well, Polly, with a league record of 9-5, finishes all alone in second place in the Big 8, behind the league leader and champion, North. Now to girls water polo, the Big 8 finals. Polly versus Santiago at King High School. Early in the match, the Bears' Lauren Finwald nets the goal. But you know, that would only fire up Santiago. You never want to make a shark mad. Michaela Tyler to Sierra Smiley for the goal. Smiles all the way around on the Santiago side. Then it's Tyler calling her own number. Fires off the shot and scores for the Sharks. Julia Kirkland had another monster game for Santiago. Here's a goal. And how about another? Kirkland led everyone in the pool with seven goals against Pauly. Later, it's Tyler putting up the floater, and it falls in. Santiago cruises to the Big 8 title by winning by a final score of 15 to 8. Each year, Rivals.com ranks its top 100 football players in the country, and a pair of inland stars are on the list for the class of Leading 2013. Leading the way is the number one player from the state of California, Vista Murrieta's Mr. Everything, Sua Cravens. The Broncos offensive and defensive star checks in as the fifth best player in the nation for next year's class. Also on the rivals top 100 list is Redlands East Valley defensive end Kylie Fitz. He's ranked at number 81. 
Both Fitz and Cravens are still mulling over a number of scholarship offers, including several from Pac-12 schools. I'm Pep Fernandez for the HS Game Time Roundup.